Good day, everybody. How are you all? Today, we are going to talk about some of a finite geometric series. So here I go. Says find the sum. So the summation sigma is from k equal to 1 through 5. And inside the parenthesis, we have 4 divided by 3 and then multiplied by 2 to the power of k. So solution. Use ti 84 solve this problem. So first press the math button. So put the calculator on, press the math button, then scroll down. Scroll down to to summation to zero is summation okay and enter okay so on our calculator screen, we have sigma. Then here is something flashing. Equal to, this is equal to, and this is equal to. So we will start with this. So we will press the alpha button. So start with this. Start. Press alpha button. button alpha and then k and k okay so now it becomes summation k inside the first square block equal to and we are going to go from k equal to this block one so press the right cursor key. Press right cursor key. So type one over here. Okay. And then the next step is up cursor key. Cursor key. Summation, so far we have k equal to 1, this block is k, this is 1, and now it is flashing over here. And we have to put in over there 5, because we are summing from 1 to 5. So type in 5 over there. Okay. So after you have done that, then write cursor key again. Right cursor key. Okay. So when you do that, let me create some space over here. So you have summation k is equal to 1 through 5. Okay. And then it's flashing inside this where you are going to type in 4 multiplied by, so 4 multiplied by, then you are going to put 2 and then press the exponent key. So 2 exponent key. So the exponent is after the exponent you have to press the alpha button. Okay. And then bring exponent k over here. 
okay so exponent k so alpha button and k okay now you press the divided by no not this divided by that will not do the job so k and then clear so k alpha button k and then divided by button will not work here okay so what do i do clear that so alpha k okay and so so far you have done okay and if you hit enter after that enter you get 243 now our actual series is k is equal to 1 through 5 and if you look at the series if i bring it down you'll see it is 4 third Four third two to the power of k, right? So this two forty three. So so far we have done summation i equal to k is equal to one to five uh, four multiplied by two k, and the answer is two forty three. So to get the then you have to divide it by three. Okay, so then divide the result by 3. This is your final answer. Okay, the other way to do it is uh, let's uh, do it this way. Okay, and let me show you another way of doing it. And I will move it this way. Okay, so again, uh, math button. So math button, second way, press math button, then scroll down to summation, okay, and hit enter. Okay. summation uh, hit enter so you get summation and you are going to do what you did before uh, so press alpha key and then k select k for your alpha so that will make it in this one over here it will become k then you can do equal to you go from one so type in one there and then the up cursor key this will make it three uh, over here where you are going to type in five okay five and then right cursor key right cursor key after five after five right cursor key so so right cursor after this i will erase this one because this is Okay, I may also re reduce this a little bit. So, okay, so right cursor key will put you, then I will put inside the parenthesis. 
So after one, you put the up cursor key to go over in this place uh, in the final term of the series where you're going to put five and then right cursor key will put your cursor inside. So first type four, uh, put, I would suggest put another parenthesis, left parenthesis, and then do four divided by three. Okay. So put a left parenthesis inside the left parenthesis, four divided by three, four divided by three, then close the right parenthesis, then another parenthesis, put another parenthesis, and left parenthesis, put two, then press this button, which is the exponent key, exponent key, exponent key, so, Exponent key. Okay. Okay. So. exponent key so it will put your thing over here okay and inside the so two and then the exponent key put the cursor on top okay here you are going to type in alpha so here you are going to type in alpha okay and then k okay so how do you make it alpha? Um, press the alpha button and then select the letter K. Okay. And that's it. Um, so, and then you can press enter after that. Okay. Alpha key and L, when you put the exponent K and then you don't have to put a parenthesis after putting alpha K, you hit enter button. So remember what's happening is here inside the parenthesis four divided by three. Okay, four divided by three. Then another parenthesis two exponent key, put alpha k over here and then enter. Already you have indicated you want to sum from k equal to one to five. And out comes your result. Same as before is 82.666, which is identical to 243 divided by three. So this is your final answer. I think this is a better way to do, uh, to put two parentheses in the first one, four divided by three, then uh, close this with another parenthesis and then a new parenthesis and two inside the new parenthesis, two exponent key. And then in the exponent uh, block, you put press the alpha button and then K. And you don't even have to close the parenthesis. If you hit enter, you get 82.666. Either way, you will get the correct answer. You can do it the first way, where you find four exponent two to the power of k, that is 243, then you divide by three, or you can bring the three inside the summation like I have done in the second way and get the same answer, which is 243 divided by three, which is 82.666. So, I'll stop here today. If you have any question, comment, write me a note. I'll get back to you as soon as I read your note. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you like this video, please share with your friends, you and your friends. Please subscribe to my channel. I come back every week to solve a new problem, okay? With a new interesting solution, okay? Uh, thanks for watching. Take care. Have a nice day. See you next time.